This 32-ton specialized crane came to Ukraine from the UK, thanks to American photographer Jonathan Brook, who has been regularly coming to the war-torn country to help. Not only does Brook document everything he sees, but he also raises funds to help Ukrainian rescuers working round the clock. This crane is going to be used in uh, saving lives, finding, helping to uh, lift the heavy pieces of buildings that have collapsed on the, on the civilians and uh, save lives by helping them to be able to uh, dig out uh, people that have been buried under the rubble. He also makes sure to record the work of Ukrainian rescuers. He's been doing it since the war started. They're on the front lines uh, of the civilian atrocities, um, defending the civilians. And the only protection they have is the helmets and uh, ballistic vests that they wear on top of their heavy and hot uh, fire suits. Brook has visited Ukraine several times already. For him, this is personal. His wife comes from Ukraine. Since the war began, Brook has documented the destruction of the Kiev region and the atrocities in Bucha, Irpin and Borodyanka. He's been to Chernihiv and to the Zaporizhia and the Dnipropetrovsk regions, where he was especially impressed by the rescuers' work. In places like Nikopol and Marganets, uh, that are right close to the, the front line, uh, to the nuclear power station that the Russians control and they use it to attack the civilians in these uh, civilian towns every single day since the war started. When Brooke is back in his native California, he organizes exhibitions to show Americans what Ukrainians have to deal with every day of the war. That is what victory looks like. Victory for Ukraine is will look like total. All of the Russians pushed out of Ukraine the Ukrainian prisoners and captives brought back. All of the children that have been stolen from Ukraine brought back. Reparations, payment imposed on Russia to send help to, to Ukraine. And then all the war criminals prosecuted. At the moment, Brooke is back in the U.S., preparing new photographic reports and finalizing new humanitarian aid packages. During his next visit, he hopes to bring hazmat suits and bulletproof vests that British policemen have purchased for Ukrainian rescuers. For Katerina Mudrenka in Dnipro, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.